It's so fun driving in your car. It sure is. How would you rate my car on a scale of 1 to 10? I rate it 10 out of 10 because it's so comfortable to ride on. As a matter of fact, Mike's car is designed to be super comfortable, which is why we do not get motion sickness in here. What about Andy's car? It is roughly the same, but not as comfortable to ride on. Huh, something's wrong with the car. Don't tell me it's breaking down. Unfortunately, I think it is. Perfect. Just perfect. I can't believe my car has broken down. How can we get back home for sure? Hey Gloria. Do you mind opening the hood of Mike's car to see what's wrong? Yes, I'll give it a try. I cannot open the hood. How can we know what happened for sure? Great. Now we're stuck out here. What should we do now? I think I should contact Beatrice on what happened. That sounds like a good idea. Give it a shot. I cannot believe some crazy person would damage my car like this. We also cannot use it now. Hello. Hello Trix, me, Mike and the others were on the way home, but his car broke down. Can you tell Andy to pick us up? I cannot. Andy found the front side of his car smashed, and it damaged its engine, making the car itself inoperable. Aw oh man. Now both cars are not working. Another thing, I called a towing service to pick up Andy's car and fix it. You should contact them to pick up Mike's car as well. Okay, see you around. We need to contact a towing service to pick up Mike's car. Do you even know how to call services though? Yes, I called a pizza delivery service before, so I think it would be the same calling the towing service. Alright, you may consider to call them now. How long will the fix last? Since your car is badly damaged it would take more than one day to fix it. Are you able to replace the engine as well? I have lots of engines in my workshop, so I can choose one that matches your car's engine. Looks like a customer is calling. Hello, Andrewville Towing Services here. Do you have a car that needs to be picked up? Yes, I have. My friend Mike was on his way home, and his car broke down. Okay, but I'm towing another car right now. So please be patient while I drive the car to my workshop before I arrive to your destination to pick up your friend's car. Okay, thanks. Is the towing service on its way? Technically, yes, but the towing guy told me that he is picking up Andy's car right now, so he may not arrive until later. I'm hoping that he can open the car hood because it's jammed. I hope so too. I'm glad that you arrived. Yeah. And when I take your car to your workshop, I will use a crowbar to open the hood so that I can see what's wrong with the engine. Are you going to take Mike's car now? Of course, so I can fix it. Okay, thanks. No problem. What should we do now? I have no idea. Should we call for a taxi in case one passes by? That will be pretty long to do. Hey! Huh, who was that? Could that be Melinda? Yes, it was me! 
We are stuck here because Mike's car broke down, so can you help us get to our house? I would like to, and I should be quick because I have something important to do at my house. Wow, we're thanking you for agreeing to take us home. <laughs> no problem. Come on everybody, hop on to my car. Let's go! How can we get to Freakers National Park for sure? I have no idea, because our car is broken. Huh? How did you all came back? Melinda found us on the middle of the street and decided to take us home. Also, we are going to Freakers National Park tomorrow, and we don't even have our car right now. Should any of you talk to Melinda again so she can take us there tomorrow? She says she has something important to do at her house, but I'll try to call her to see if she might agree. Okay, give it a try. This is going to take a long time for me to renovate and repaint my room. Yes? Hey again Melinda, do you mind taking me and the others to a national park tomorrow when you are done doing your important thing? I'm sorry, but I cannot do that because I have to renovate my entire house, and it would take days for me to finish. Alright then. Also, are you working alone? As of now, yes, but I might have my besties to help me with the rest later on. Okay, have a good one. You too, Sky. Hmm. Where should I paint first? What did Melinda say to you? She said that she is unavailable to take us to the national park because she has to renovate her home, which will take her days to do so. Dang, that is so stressful for Melinda to do. Not really, because she said that Grace and Amanda can help her with the renovation. We should all sit down for a moment before we find the best way to get to the national park. Let's all go to our bedrooms and have some conversations. Are you going to type the directions for Freakers National Park? Yes, I will. How far is the national park? It's not too far from here. I have been there before and it was only a couple minutes away. Andy and Mike, take a look at this. Is this the location for Freakers National Park? Yes, that's the one. Our cars are not operable, and the National Park does not offer flight directions nor train directions, so we should think of the best way to get there. Hey Jed, can you find the best way to get to the National Park? I'll go for it right now. <gasps> Please don't tell me we have to. Are you kidding me? You expect us to walk all the way to our destination? Well, that's the best I can find. How about a taxi ride? I already checked and taxi and bus rides are unavailable. If you want us to walk that far, we better sleep early. And we have to bring lots of stuff, such as water, medical supplies, and so on. Okay, so, where are the luggages? They are all at the garage, and I will get them soon. When are we going to sleep? No idea. I think we should sleep at around 8.45 in the evening. That early? I don't usually sleep at that time. Andy, we need to sleep at that time, so at least we will arrive at the National Park within the afternoon. Should we set our alarms? Oh yes, we should, I almost forgot. We are planning to wake up at 2.46 in the morning. Okay, we will set our alarms to that time.
Also, are you going to get the luggages now? I think I should get them immediately, so that we do not have to get them later on. All right, give it a shot. Hopefully the luggages are big enough. Huh. One luggage is small and the other is large. I wonder what should I put inside each of them. Do I mind if I can help? Sure, why not? I will take the big luggage, and you take the small luggage. Okay, let's take them to Jed's bedroom. Have Mike and Gloria found the luggages yet? I think they have. There they are, the luggages. Hmm. I think I have an idea of what items we should put. Food and water go in the big luggage, and medical supplies go in the small luggage. That is a great idea, Trix. It is indeed, so we can know which luggage carries food and water, and which luggage carries medical supplies. Would you all like to go to the living room and hang out until 8.45? Yes, we would like to. Okay, let's go. Come on Jed, let's head to the living room. Jed, wake up. Is it time to go? Yes, now sit up and get dressed. Ugh. Oh come on Jed, you were the one wanting us to walk that far. I should consider this long walking as a challenge. A challenge? What do you mean? I am going to call it. The long walking direction challenge. Ah. Uh, okay. Get dressed now so we can get prepared for that challenge. Andy and the others might be waiting. All right, Jed, let's go. You do look sleepy, all right. Yes, because we all had to wake up so early. I'm glad you both brought the luggages. Yes, and we also put what we needed. Are you all ready to challenge yourselves to walking a long distance to the national park? Uh, no. Beatrice, we do not have a choice. Fine then, I will challenge myself. Come on everybody, let's go. Hey Jed, do you have a map? Yes, it's within my phone. Can I see? We are looking for a road named Freaker's Way. So we should follow it and eventually get there. Of course, that is the only road leading to Freaker's National Park. Where exactly is Freaker's Way? I have no idea. I should look around and find it. I will come with you to find Freaker's Way. Okay, let's search together. I have no idea why the bus has not arrived yet. Hey, do you know where Freaker's Way is? It's within the intersection all the way over there. Thanks a lot. We will get there now. No problem. Have you found Freaker's Way? A guy told us that it is all the way on the other side, within an intersection. Follow us so that me and Sky can take you to Freaker's Way. Do you consider this as exercise? 
Technically, yes, but not this long. Don't worry, we might eventually stop before moving on. Also, how many hours we have left? We are still in 12 hours, and we have not passed the first hour yet. Hey Andy, are you not that tired? Not really. I once ran a long distance without stopping when I was in middle school, and it increased my stamina so well. No, I mean, are you not as sleepy as you were earlier? Oh, as a matter of fact, I am fully awake now. Huh, okay. Oh boy, my arms are getting tired. Really Jed? You were the one that planned all this. I did plan the long walking challenge, but the thing is, my arms are getting tired, right out of nowhere. I suspect you stayed up late when you were supposed to sleep at around 8.45. As a matter of fact, I did, because I had a hard time sleeping and I was not familiar with sleeping that early. I get why you stayed up late. Also, there is a picnic table I can see from here. Oh look, a picnic table. This is so I can rest my arms for a bit, because they are tired. Is anybody hungry? I am, also, what food do we have? I have this bread right here. Wow, thanks, I would like to eat it. Pass it to Skye so she can pass it to Andy. Here you go. Thanks a lot Sky. I appreciate it. No problem. I'm glad Jed brought a piece of bread for Andy to enjoy. And I like how the bread is whole grain. That was so good. I really like the whole grain bread. Oh no, I do not feel so good. What's wrong? I think I am about to. Oh my poor Andy, I'm coming. <coughs> What's with the bread? I think it has expired or something. What happened? I think the bread had mold, or it has expired. Expired? Hang on a minute. Jed, did you bring something that has expired? What? Why would I bring expired food? Really? You were the one that brought the bread in the first place. I do not think the bread has expired. Stop lying. Tell us the truth. Okay, let me explain everything. I got the bread from the refrigerator, and I did not realize that it has been sitting there for two months. That's alright Jed, even almost all of us make mistakes. Next time, check the expiration date for each food before bringing one of them with you. Okay, I will do that from now on, and also, would you like some medicine Andy? No thanks, I'm okay now, and also, we do not have much time, so we have to keep going. Come on Jed, let's move along. It feels like my arms are not as tired as they were earlier. That's good because you gave them some good amount of rest. Hey Mike, how many hours we have left? We have passed the first hour already, only 11 hours left. That's good. We have to keep going until all the hours have passed. Ugh. My legs are getting tired. Would you like us to stop by at a rest area? I think so, but I do not know where it is. I see another picnic table over there. Alright, finally my legs can get some rest. It appears this table has more shade than the other one. What time is it? It's around 4 o'clock in the morning and we only have 10 hours left. Hey Sky, do you have water for- What was that? It sounded like a bear. Jed, look behind you. 
What does the bear want? I think it wants to. I have to go. No, you cannot. It will only make things worse if you run. What am I supposed to do, feed the bear so it can leave? You have to look big to the bear and make loud noises, and trust me. It will scare the bear away. Is that what I should do? Yes, now go ahead and give it a shot. All right, fearsome bear, take this. Well, that was easy. Wow, I'm glad you scared the bear away with your loud scream. Yep, I am indeed a brave teenage guy. Good job Jed, you trusted me and it worked. Boom. Boom. Come on guys, let's keep going. We are halfway to the national park. Pretty soon we will eventually arrive. I'm really hoping we can get there on time. Hey Sky, do you need some water? No thanks, I'm fine. What about you? I'm okay too. Are your arms getting tired again? Not really. I'm really starting to get tired of moving my legs. I want to stop so badly. Hey Jed, do you see another picnic table? I have not seen any. We have already stopped by at four picnic tables and it looks like we are not seeing another one. Apparently, this area is not meant for picnics, which is why we have not seen any picnic tables lately. Gloria, it looks like there are no picnic tables. Oh man, now there is nowhere else to rest. There is nothing we can do now. We have to keep going so that we will not miss what we want to see at the national park. We are getting closer. Only two hours left. Are you sure we are getting closer? I can see trees from here, and, is that where the national park is? Yes, that is where the national park is. We are indeed closer to our destination. Are your legs still tired, Gloria? Yes, they are still tired, but I do not mind. Hey Sky, somebody is calling you. I will answer who it is. What's up Sky? Me and my besties have just finished painting the walls. Hello Melinda, Jed made us do the long walking direction challenge to Freakers National Park, and we walked for so many hours. You were all walking a long distance? Yes we did, because we had no other choices since Andy and Mike's cars are not operable. That walking challenge is so challenging. Are you and the others okay? Kind of. Almost all of us are tired. Oh my. Hopefully you all will eventually reach the national park. Okay, have a good one. You too, and stay safe. Why do you look so worried? Your younger brother Jed has challenged himself and the others to walk an exceptionally long distance to Freakers National Park. What? Why would my younger brother do such a thing? Hopefully he's okay. Gracelyn, he did not have a choice, because his friend's cars are not operable. I hope he is in good condition, because I do not want my awesome brother to get hurt. At least he is with the others, so it's unlikely he would get hurt. Hey Melinda, do you know where Freakers National Park is? Uh... I am not sure where it is, since I have never heard of it before. I think we should search Freakers National Park and find the directions for it. Hey, that would be a good idea. Are you going to search it up now? 
Yes, I will, so that I can know where the national park is. Hmm. I wonder how my awesome brother is doing right now. Wow, we have finally arrived at the national park. This means that the long walking direction challenge has been successfully done. Now that we have arrived, our legs will no longer be tired. And we can get some rest as long as we can. Has the towing service fixed my car yet? I am not sure, but first, let's explore the national park and then we can call the towing service about your car and Mike's car. Would you all like water? Oh yes we do, so that we can get hydrated. We will explore the national park after we drink water. Are you following the road to the national park? Yes, the digital map on my phone told me to go in this road. How far is the national park? It's around 40 minutes from Andrewville. Lolinda, look out! Come on, stupid deer! Good thing you did not run the deer over. Why would it even stand there in the first place? Melinda, if I were you, forget about the deer and move on. Ugh, fine. What did the towing guy say to you? He said that he has finished fixing Mike's car, but my car is yet to be finished. You know, we can just wait here until somebody arrives to pick us up, and then maybe tomorrow you can see your car again. Somebody can pick us up? I think it would be Melinda, because she called Sky earlier. Isn't Melinda busy renovating her house? She has decided to take a break from that. So Sky, how would you rate my long walking direction challenge? It was okay for the most part but I do not like how we all got tired so easily. It looks like my arms have stopped getting tired ever since we went to that first picnic table for my rest. My arms were not that tired to be honest, because I slept very well. Are you feeling much better now? Yes, I am feeling better. The water helped us stay hydrated. And all those fruits inside the big luggage restored our energy. Come on everybody, let's go to the parking lot. Jed, I'm glad that you were lucky to be safe. I was so worried about you because I thought you suffered during your very long walk. Can I tell you all about everything? Go for it. Okay, so, during the first hour of our long walking challenge, we stopped by at a picnic table, and I brought a piece of whole grain bread for Andy, and he vomited because it was expired. He threw up. Yes, he did, and I brought the bread without noticing that it has already been expired. Did you give him some medicine? I asked Andy if he wanted some, and he said he's okay. I'm glad he recovered so quick, and also, what else did you guys do? We encountered a bear at the second picnic table and I scared it off with a loud scream. Wow, you are indeed a very brave brother. Nice job, bro. Fist bump. Boom. Boom. There is not enough space for all of you to get in my car, so I think you all should call somebody to pick you up. I will be going with Jed to Melinda's car. All right, have fun. Come on, Jed, let's go. I'm glad Jed and Sky are riding Melinda's car. It's good for them, but what about us? Hey, I can take you all. No way, is that? Hey, Mr. Wellington, are you here to help us get home? I would be glad to help. It's only me in here anyway, so I am happy to have you all get inside my truck. Do you know where our home is? because we walked all the way here. 
I'm sorry, I do not know your residence, but I can drop you off in front of the school entrance, and then you all can walk home. Okay, thanks for helping us to get home. No problem, and don't forget to grab your luggages and put them in the back of my truck. Hey Gloria, do you think the towing service fixed my car and Andy's car? I think your car is fixed now, but I do not know about Andy's. We will find out when we get home, but first, we need to get the luggages to Mr. Wellington's truck. Are you all happy that your cars are fixed? Yes, we all are. Okay, so, when I fixed both of your cars, I can see that the purple car's engine has ran out of battery, and the white car's engine had a large dent on it. Still, I have not found out what caused the white car to end up being heavily damaged. Hmm, we probably don't need to know about Andy's car's damage, but anyways, thanks a lot for fixing our cars. No problem, and have a good one. Come on everybody, let's go inside our house. That's all folks. This is the end of this video.